I'm asking you to look around you, to that space where you are standing or sitting. Knowing that you are in an incubator for greatness. Knowing that God can do wonderful things right here, right now, in this moment, and is doing if we allow God to, if we allow spirit to, if we allow this creative energy to do the work that it does. And if we allow this power and this presence to do its work, all we need to do is to take action, to do the footwork, to make every step we take go in the direction that we want it to go in our lives. And to remember, to remember that it works if you work it. So work it. You are worth it. You are worth it. I am worth it. We are all worth it. That together, together, united together with this power and this presence and each other, the works are beyond anything that we could even imagine at this very moment. So I'm going to leave you today with a poem by James Dilla Freeman. He wrote this poem when his wife was going through some ill health as a reminder for himself. And it has been one of the greatest poems written. In 1971, this poem, and it's called I Am There, was carried to the moon by Apollo 15. It was stored in a microfilm, a microfilm file. The poem was intended to be left there for future space explorations. And that's where we are right now. We're in a place of exploration for ourselves. So I'm going to read it to you. It says, do you need me? I am there. You cannot see me, yet I am the light you see by. You cannot hear me, yet I speak through your voice. You cannot feel me, yet I am the power at work in your hands. I am at work, though you do not understand my ways. I am at work, though you do not recognize my works. I am not strange visions. I am not mysteries. Only in absolute stillness, beyond self, can you know me as I am, and then but as a feeling and a faith. Yet I am there, yet I hear, yet I answer. When you need me, I am there. When you deny me, I am there. When you feel most alone, I am there. Even in your fears, I am there. Even in your pain, I am there. I am there when you pray and when you do not pray. I am in you and you are in me. Only in your mind can you feel separate from me, for only in your mind are the mist of yours and mine. Yet only with your mind can you know me and experience me. Empty your heart of empty fears, when you get yourself out of the way, I am there. And you can of yourself do nothing, but I can do all. And I am in all, though you may not see the good. Good is there, for I am there. I am there because I have to be, because I am. Only in me does the world have meaning. Only out of me does the world take form. Only because of me does the world go forward. I am the law on which the movement of the stars and the growth of the living cells are founded. 
I am the love that the law is fulfilling. I am assurance. I am peace. I am oneness. I am the law that you can live by. I am the love that you can cling to. I am your assurance. I am your peace. I am one with you. I am you. Though you fail to find me, I do not fail you. Though your faith in me is unsure, my faith in you never wavers because I know you, because I love you. Beloved, I am there. Oh, let's just take a moment to take these words into our heart, knowing that there is only one power and one presence, one mind, one absolute essence. And this power, this presence lives inside of each and every one of us. And today we are here to not only celebrate our oneness with this power, but to know, to know that we are always connected, to know that we are the power in which this essence works because it works through us as us in this moment. So we are grateful. We are grateful for every single thing our, in our lives, no matter what it looks like, no matter what it sounds us like, we know that we are always connected with this power and this essence. And we are grateful as we release these words into the nothingness of which they've been spoken today through me as me, we just know it is done, it is done, it is done. And all we need to know and to say is yes, yes, yes. And so it is. Amen. Namaste.